Hi, and welcome back to my last video, my third and last video for Aikatsu Photo On Stage. So, last video we looked at the um, just going through leveling up, dressing up, um, photo binders, inventories, and trade, and also just scrolling through um, the live, the live page. So next, this video will go through the scouting page. So. This is so you press the green button next to the live and you'll go through the scouting page. This page is where you will sell your soul to your best girl. Period. Um so this video so this um this page just shows you the four um different um scouting banners. So um so just clicking through so this is um this is Mikiru's um, event banner for iCat's Quest. So you will get her if you... And this one is the Xion um, banner for the permanent um, scout for original iCatsu. Xion has finally gotten her first PR after two and a half, for a year and a half through this game. Yeah, that's how long it took for Xion to get a PR. But yeah. At Xion's banner, and she finishes on the tenth, tenth this month. Um, this one, it this one is the Aikatsu Aikatsu Stars banner. So, not nothing, nothing much in there. They haven't featured a PR in a while. Not since Lily's last, so Lily's um initial first initial PR, and last one is the Heart Points Gacha. So. Yeah, just where you spend your heart points on. If you if you capped on um, on heart points, then just use uh, use that to just get um, fodder for trade points. And I'll explain what trade trade points do in um in the shop when I hit the shop page. So when you're scouting, um, you will. It's eleven roll. It's you get an SR above for every eleven roll you do, and I think um, there's an appearance rate by six times for especially for events. Before it used to be very before appearance rates used to be very low. I think it was like by twi two times, but now they've added six times just to increase the chances of getting the event PR. Um, but if you have a, a initial SR that you don't have, there is a chance you will get the initial SR, the initial PR. Sorry for in that is in the box. So to scout, it costs two hundred fifty normal stars, and there is a there is a discounted for one time discount of um, one hundred and sixty shiny stars. To scout for is using shiny stars for one time and one time only, and I think for solo yolo is twenty five normal stars, and solo yolo is discounted to six, and it becomes twenty five after that. Um, if you go through this purple thing here, that's on top of the Mikuru banner, um, that is just viewing what the the PR is and the and the SRs that are featured. Um, um, and then there's some um, three three blue buttons right here. I th don't know what this one is. I'll just have a look. Uh, it's just basically information about the scouting. And then this one is, um, I think this is the uh, when it comes up. Yep, this is the um, this is just the whole of um, what's in the inside the in the sides the inside the event box. So. Um, the rarity for scouting is R is 78%, um, SR is 20%, and PR is 2%. So getting an SR is high, pretty high. So um, I forgot. I forgot the rate for yeah. So R is 78. SR is 20, 20 and PR is 2%. Um, and 
it'll feature all the all the cards that are in this box so it'll have the initials and the initials are pretty weak except for I think the only one that's not weak is um, Eureka. Eureka's, the, Eureka's PR is the only one that's not not very weak as the, all the other initials these are all the first the very first early initials um, from last year and they are terrible. Well, and they're pretty much useless once you get more PRs. But um, and then on the side it says 0.8 percent. That is the increased um, appearance rate. So there is a 0.8 percent chance out of chance to get Mikuru, the Mikuru PR, and then 1.33 for every other card. And then SRs they're up by 0.36. Um, they're the featured um, event SRs, and that's that is basically it. And then this last button is basically the guaranteed, um, the guaranteed box. So you get a ninety-eight percent chance of getting an SR and two percent chance of getting the PR in the guaranteed eleven scout, guaranteed eleven S eleven scout. So. Guaranteed SR Scout. Um, yeah. 17.18%. So you get a higher chance of getting the event SRs than getting the PR. Um, and um, sometimes, and very, 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 very rarely, there will be a double PR rate, which is 4%. And I think the last, um, the last, um, 4% was Swallowtail Ichigo. And a lot of people got that Swallowtail Ichigo from the 4%. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, that's basically it for the scouting. Um, Shion. Oh, yeah. Um, just going through the. Um, so, in the permanent box, if you scroll through, there's a lot of PRs. There's a, th once you go through, scroll down even lower, um, here it is, the 0 0.5, that is all the event PRs up until June Bride, which was last year, last year, the last year June Bride. So, these are all the event, all the 0.5% PRs are the event PRs. That have been currently been released until from June Bride of last June Bride of last year until now until I think it's the U event yeah the U event um, and then the zero point two four is um, uh, is all the initial PRs that have been released and then it's all the SRs and this is just um, yeah, this is the guaranteed rate. But if you want to go through the all what's all in the all in the box, there's this one in the middle. So yeah. And there Ice Cats of Stars also has events as well. Event PRs as well. So just go through Ice Cats of Stars. And that's they don't have a lot of PRs, event PRs at the moment, so yeah. That's practically it. That's practically for the scouting. So next up is the scenarios. Um, so scenarios are basically how to unlock songs and the song's difficulty. So this is the the Mikuru one. This Mikuru one um, here is the event um, event scenario. So to unlock um, anything. To unlock all of the scenarios, you need to play play lives for a certain amount of event points. But I'll explain event po events um, in another video. So the next one is um, Hoshi no Tsubasa. Um, that is uh, Stardom. So the song the song for Hoshi no Tsubasa scenario is Stardom. So yeah. 
Next one is uh, the Four Star Academy scenario. So you can unlock songs from iCat Stars through um, these characters featured in Four Star Academy. Currently, no Mahiro. So yeah, one day. Um, next one is Starlight Academy's um, scenarios, and these are all the characters um, and the songs you can unlock. Um, some some characters from Starlight will have two two different scenarios to unlock two lock song to lock two different songs. First, so for example, if I go to Ichigo, there's two two different scenario parts. So I think it was. Idol, Idol Katsudo and Cal Calendar Girl for Ichigo scenario and yeah, that's how you unlock um um Aikatsu songs. There is also Dream Academy, so you can lock um songs that are from from the original series that I've from Dream Academy scenario. And if there's like a sign here, it says Mar the Mario one here. Um, that means you haven't unlocked her legendary song. So I haven't unlocked um, her sixth, uh, her sixth scenario and her seventh, which features the legendary song for Aurora Prince Princess. Um, next one is special, so basically other idols and groups units. So there's um, Mizuki, Mikuru, Miyabi, and Kokone. And then Twings, Tristar, and then some other events. <laughs> and Mankatsu. And Mankatsu. <sighs> and then the last one is the memories. So memories are past are scenarios from past events. Um, where you can uh, earn hard points and oh yeah. When you unlock um and complete scenarios, you will earn stars and hard points. Um, and memories, you can unlock hard points to just by um, viewing scenarios. Unfortunately, if you started a game very late, um, you won't be able to unlock, you won't be able to earn stars from past events. That is the catch if you started late into the game. You can't earn hard points. But you can't earn the stars that was earned when um, when the event was on. So, for example, if you started like really late, uh, late into the middle of the year or something, and this is the Twings event, which was the very first um, Fredericatsu event ever, um, you won't be able to unlock the stars that you could have earned when the Twings event was on. And I think it was 19 stars for every scenario, except for every every point event scenario is 19 stars. And I think it was 20 stars for medley medley events, medley event scenarios. So yeah, um, yeah, that's kind of sad that you can't earn um, stars from past events from past event scenarios. So, and that's that's basically it for scenarios. Um, next one is shop. Um, I think they added this last year, which is the trade shop. So I will explain what trade shop the trade shop is. So last video I showed you just briefly on what um, what you do for trading. So you basically trade um, useless cards or end cards that you don't really you've maxed and you kind of really don't need anymore, and you've already earned their six stars. Um, so to trade, you trade um, for trade shop. You can trade trade points for PRs or SRs. Um, uh, I think for I think every end card you trade will earn you one trade point for every end card you trade. So, for example, if I trade about ten end cards, then I earn ten ten trade points. Um, our our cards is twenty trade points for every art card. 
SRs, SR cards, I think it's three, 300, and then PR is 2,250. Um, and trade points, for PR, trade point PRs cost 15,000, and SRs are 1,200. And there is a six month leeway into trading into um, until the PR the featured PR expire the featured PR expires. So if you scroll down to scrolling down to the bottom will be the one where it's the closest to expiring. So the Coconut SR and the SR Coconut PR sorry and the Nina SR is going to expire on the eleventh of October of this year. So you have a few week, few days until this the PR expires. So if you need if you need pop PRs, I suggest snagging this Kokone before she's gone. And she's pretty and trade trade PRs are very powerful. Um so um they also added the Orihime SR which is 2000. 20,000 20, trade points just to max level an S a PR by one by one level. And the current PR the current PR featured is Risa and the SR is Sumire. Um uh, so uh, So when I mentioned the heart points gacha, so if you maxed on Hard point. If you max out on hard points, like, and the maximum of hard points you can obtain is ninety. Uh, it's nine nine. It's triple not. It's um seven nines basically. Seven nines is the max trade point. And if you kept on that, you can use your hard points to go to the hard hard point gacha, and then just feed your ends end cards. You get earn. Or your R's to earn trade points, and that is so. That is the best way to. It's one of the best ways to earn trade points. To, um, but here's the thing: to get one PR from the trade shop, it costs seven. It's gonna take seven PRs, seven PRs for one trade shop PR. 50 SRs for one trade shop PR, and I have no idea how many R's and S N's you need. Just, just keep trading useless R's and SR's just to get the PR you want of your best girl. And at least there's a six month leeway for that, so just good luck on that one. And the one below the trade banner is, um, Oh, and speaking of which, um, so back to the trade shop. So you will a trade PR will come out every month after the point. I think after the points event finishes, the trade shop PR will be featured. So last month was Risa. So next month will be someone else. Um, so going back, we're this is the um, shiny star. So I mentioned. I mentioned in the first video this is a shiny star, so you can you can spend your money, <laughs> spend your money to get um, your best girl. So yeah, sometimes there'll be specials for shiny stars. They recently did the Halloween pack, so you can earn, so you can get um, shiny star, lots of shiny stars for a good, for a good, for a decent price. <laughs> Basically, the same price as you get as these. So, and then the last one is the further by further inventory expansion. So, you can use use up five normal stars or five shiny stars or both to expand your inventory. And for one slot is one star. So you earn so five slots. You get so for five stars you get five slots. So it's a pretty good deal. Um. That is only if you've um, run out of space for cards. And 
when you start the game, you always start with a hundred um, slots, and you can expand it whenever you like. If you used up all your <laughs> space of your best girl, and I have done that so many times, and I need space to do gotchas and just hoard Orihime ours, um, Orihime cards. Um, but yeah, that's just about it. That is everything in the game. If um, if there's something I missed, um, just just let me know. Um, and I'll be talking about events and just building your own team in another in m more videos to come. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, have a good night.